of fame can certainly be cruel. It can appear in the form of a huge breakout or fizzle away in the blink of an eye. But let's keep things positive. From major success stories to colossal comebacks, here are some of the biggest winners of 2010. She might not be the star of the show, but Mad Men's Christina Hendricks has become a household name, and not to mention Esquire's Sexiest Woman of the Year. I think we can credit Christina and Mad Men for not only keeping high quality drama on television, but also repopularizing the voluptuous, curvy, sexy figure. She's an example of real womanhood, and we haven't seen that in a, a high profile figure on television for quite a long time. Christina Hendricks put the va va boom back into advertising. Set in a mystical place they call Jersey Shore. This admittedly ridiculous reality show completely took off last year, to the surprise of many critics. I still don't know why people care about Jersey Shore. Uh, I don't really get the appeal, but I think it has something to do with the fact that people like to watch train wrecks on TV. For all that Hollywood keeps saying we need likable characters, um, we're actually uh, just as interested in seeing completely insane, horrible people. And this, is, uh, and this is what Jersey Shore gives us. It doesn't have that redemption arc that a lot of reality shows and sitcoms do. I think we're definitely laughing at the cast because they're not funny. They just do really stupid things. I think it's not that much of a surprise. There's char charismatic in individuals involved doing outlandish things that most people wouldn't do. It's like a train wreck. People watch that. They always have. They still will. That's the story. A dreadlocked hippie might not be top of mind when you think of American Idol contestants, but Crystal Bower Socks almost took the entire contest. I like Crystal Bower Socks because she was Janis Joplin-like, and so there was there was a sense of authenticity about her. She had the dreadlock hair, she had kind of a punk kind of style, um, a really cool voice. She was a little bit more alternative than the usual American Idol contestant. They tend to be very down-home people with no uh, element of the hippie in them because um, American Idol is a very middle America show with middle America winners like Kelly Clarkson. She was so different from the cookie-cutter American Idol winner, you know, she's no Carrie Underwood. From an Academy Award to an adopted son, Sandra Bullock was full of surprises in 2010. Sandra Bullock, I mean, what a story. She went from having it all on Oscar night to having her world crash around her ears in the space of a week. Well, I think definitely the main upset for Sandra Bullock was that her husband cheated on her. She disappeared from view for three months, and then, just like the plot of a movie, she reappeared uh, not only happy and healthy, but with a little baby boy in her arms. People love Bullock because she is the good girl. She's never been the kind of um, a actress who depends completely on her uh, uh, her looks for her popularity. She has that girl next door quality to her that means she's not too threatening to women and not too intimidating to men. And we can all picture ourselves in her shoes. It's crazy to think that just over a year ago, no one even really knew who Justin Bieber was. The International uh, infiltration of media and music by Justin Bieber based on his look, his charisma, and those pop songs that the kids will love has been remarkable. He won the respect of some of the music industry's biggest names, and he won legions of screaming fans all over the world. Justin Bieber is also the first social media uh, uh, phenomenon. He's tapped into that in a brilliant way. I think he's the Canadian Entertainment Story of the Year. How do you beat what he's done already? And therefore, the danger is that this guy spends the rest of his life trying to live up to what he did as a 16-year-old. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see if Bieber fever is still around three, four, or five years from now. Those were some of the biggest breakouts and comebacks of 2010. Thanks for watching, and remember, you can check back right here with Yahoo Canada for daily year in review updates that you just won't want to miss. In the meantime, feel free to share this video with all your friends on Facebook and Twitter. Yahoo!